it backs up what we've all seen is this abhorrent uh, process that Putin has followed in terms of uh, an unwarranted attack on Ukraine and the general way that Putin's regime is acting. It's pretty despicable, actually. We're working with the Ukrainians. These are the people who are serving us in the Ukrainian armed forces. They're protected, therefore, under the Geneva Convention. And I know the Foreign Secretary is in close contact with her counterparts in Ukraine to do everything we can to support the individuals and support and work with Ukraine. Uh, to get the right outcome to this, well, this dis disgraceful situation. But it, but it sums up pretty much the abhorrent way that Putin and his regime have acted over the last few months. You know, as you say, it's a show trial. They've been falsely accused of being mercenaries. Is there anything we can actually do? Well, as I say, it's difficult to go into the details of any particular case, and obviously particularly without consent of the individuals. But the Foreign Secretary, the Prime Minister, I know, are fully engaged on this, uh, working with the Ukrainians because they were serving Ukrainian armed forces, and therefore they are protected by the Geneva Convention, something that all governments around the world uh, have respected for, for decades now. Uh, and it's something that Russia should, should respect as well. But as we've seen, as I say, we've seen Putin act in a pretty abhorrent and illegal way consistently over the last few months. So we've got to keep that pressure on and do everything we can to support not just these families, but actually everybody who's fighting for, uh, the, for democracy, actually, in Ukraine. I guess that's the issue, though, isn't it? You said it, that Putin is prepared to act illegally. Given that, you know, is there something we can do or not, or not? Well, we've got to keep the pressure on. We've got to work through this in the proper way, and that's working with our partners in Ukraine, because, as I say, they were serving officers in the Ukrainian mm -hmm. armed forces. We will be continuing to do that. I know the Foreign Secretary, as I say, is in close contact okay. uh, with her counterparts there to do everything we can, as I say, to support not just those individuals, but actually the, the wider people of Ukraine in the battle that they're, they're, they're dealing with with uh, Putin's uh, invasion.